on a completely shift note in some ways, have you followed at all the story about Tidal, T-I-D-A-L, the big new streaming service? No. So this is the thing that Jay-Z launched a couple of weeks ago. Oh, and it failed. It's a cell phone streaming app that failed, right? Uh, it's a streaming service. I think it probably works you know, on your computer, on your phone, or you know, whatever, your, your, your device of choice. So he, launched, he basically he bought you know, some company and, and changed the name. And it's supposedly a high-quality streaming service that it would almost offer, I think, like FLAC-level audio for audio nerds out there. So they pull, the, they do this event, they do this press conference where it's Jay-Z and Beyonce and Madonna and Jack White and just a ton of just the biggest stars all on one stage, which does have kind of an impressive look to it. But they basically go on stage and have now continued to sort of almost complain that the streaming services are ripping us off, and you basically have a bunch of multi-millionaire performers complaining that they're not being paid enough. It's almost a repeat of the Lars versus Napster battle. And I'm not saying either one is wrong or right, but in the public's mind, there's now this shift that suddenly it's like, oh, those guys are a bunch of complaining millionaires because their records don't sell very well anymore. Had they put up, and, and actually other artists have come out and said, you know, even, you know, lead singer of Death Cab, Steve Albini, who's always an outspoken kind of music cultural critic yeah, and producer. Him. But those guys have come out and was like, oh my God, this is, it's going to be a disaster. It's going to fail. And they had noted if, you know, if they would have brought out younger artists, you know, scrappier, less known artists. It's like, don't you want these guys to get paid? But instead, it was a bunch of millionaires coming out saying, hey, we're not getting paid enough money. It's, I, it's a subtle thing, but I've been kind of tracking the story in another sort of split between the sort of, you know, the us's and the them's and the have's and the have nots. And as the kind of gap becomes bigger, yeah. I've watched this as, as kind of another big another kind of big, a subtle yet big development. 